Engage is an online engagement tool for nonprofit and other organizations of all shapes and sizes to be able to better connect with their communities. In this demo, we'll be looking at one of the apps we have in our Soapbox Engage suite called our Forms app. The Forms app can be used to do a variety of things, from collecting just basic survey data, contact us data, a lot of good stuff from your website directly. And best of all, all the data goes directly into Salesforce in real time. So you've got that data handy to be able to do immediate dashboarding, reporting, and securely storing that data in the cloud. I'll be showing you guys three different examples of how you can use the Soapbox Engage Forms app to do everything from contact us pages, newsletter sign up pages, membership application pages, and even fellowship applications. So let's get started here. Our first example is the U.S. Green Building Council of Northern California. What they wanted to do here with their website is to make it really easy for individuals and organizations to be able to sign up for their newsletter. So they've been using the Soapbox Engage Forms app to do just that. You can see here we've got a title for the form, some introductory text. They want to be able to capture just the basic contact information of the individual. You can see they've chosen certain fields to be required and some others to be optional. A little further down below, they kind of go into a bit of survey options here with um, describing an industry sector, asking if the people are lead certified uh, professionals, etc and then allowing them to choose which of the different newsletters they want to be signed up with. Once this data is collected from the website, the data goes directly into Salesforce, where they've customized their Salesforce instance with some workflows to be able to properly align this new contact with a newsletter inside Salesforce. Once somebody hits the sign up button, they can be sent to a thank you page or redirected to another page on their website, as well as being able to receive a confirmation email directly from Soapbox Engage. While that's happening, all their data is going securely and safely into Salesforce for immediate retrieval by the organization. So that's an example of using one of these forms apps um, specifically for newsletter signups. Let's take a look at it from the shoes or from inside the shoes of uh, an association that might be wanting to do uh, membership recruitment. In this case, we're looking at the nonprofit roundtable of Greater Washington. They're an association of nonprofits in the Washington, D.C. area, and they want to be able to make it as easy as possible for new organizations to join their membership roles. Now, they've got a lot of questions they want to ask. They want to make sure that it's simple and straightforward for people to go ahead, see the form, fill it out, and then be able to know more information that they need to do for a next step. So when you join up for the nonprofit roundtable, they've got a, a multi-step process. The first step is using the Soapbox Engage Forms app. Now you can see this is quite more complex than the U.S. Green Building Council's form. In this case, they're asking for detailed information about the organization itself, such as contact information, etc., providing different estimates as to the number of employees and volunteers, people served, even their operating budget. Um, you can see that they've also, in this case, used multi-select pick lists. So I can go ahead and just using my mouse select multiple items here. This matches up perfectly with multi-select pick list fields in Salesforce. And they've also got single select pick lists here as well. Again, the ability to choose which one of these different areas appear in this pick list and then being able to display it and have it recorded directly into Salesforce. It's exactly what Soapbox Engages Forms app does out of the box. A little further down below, you can see a lot more contact information. Sometimes they even have paragraphs of information and some titles. All these things are items that you can customize on your own without having to have us do it within the Soapbox Engage Forms app. In this case, they've also asked organizations to provide an image or their logo. And you can see they can choose which file formats they want to accept, the size they want to accept, and then allow people to go ahead and hit a Choose File button to be able to upload those images. All this built directly into the Soapbox Engage Forms app. They've got information about the membership dues, and then we continue to step two, you then go to a bill payment process to complete the transaction. But the first thing I wanted to do, collect as much information from the application process as possible. The next step allow people to go ahead and go through the process of being able to pay their dues. So that is a straightforward but rather detailed application processing example that you can do with the Soapbox Engage Forms app. But last, let's think about the shoes of a foundation. And in the example I'll be providing, uh, this is the Nathan Cummings Foundation. And they have on an annual basis um, a variety of different fellowships that they have. And they want to be able to provide a very 
easy process for prospective fellows to go through both a short form, which is more of a um, an interest form process, a qualifications form process, and then a long form process to be able to do a full application. In the example I'll show you here, they're actually using the Soapbox Engage user integration service to allow users to log in, create accounts, start an application, save it, come back at a future date, submit it, see how they're doing the application process. A lot of great things that you can do to extend the Soapbox Engage Forms app. In this case, I'll just show you one example form. So here we are looking at their fellowship application. Similar to what we saw before, but you'll also notice this is all branded specifically within their organization's website design. So for each of these examples, from the US Green Building Council to what we have here for the nonprofit roundtable, all the way through to the Nathan Cummings Foundation, this is all identical to the design they have so that when users go from their website to one of the Soapbox Engage form app pages, it looks identical to their branding and they're not lost or confused as to which application they're filling out. In this case, they've got different sections, project information, they've got nice big areas here for text areas. You can also have hover over text if you want to, to provide help text as well for any of the labeled areas here. You can even include different links in HTML within labels as well as text areas. So we've got a lot of test information here, paragraphs of information that you can go ahead and include within a particular label. And at the very bottom of the page, in their process, they've got two different files. Again, in this case, they've set the maximum, the different file types they want to select. And at the very bottom, they have this option here. This is a great option because it allows folks that you want to be able to save and come back to first confirm that they're all good with their application or with their form submission. And if not, they can say that they're not ready to submit the application, just save it and then come back in the future great ability for folks that have long applications or want to be able to have folks be able to start it, come back, start it again because they've got a number of different supporting documents they need to collect. Best yet, and what makes Soapbox's, Soapbox Engage's forms app very different from other tools, is that in this case you're able to go ahead and when you save it, you can see the progress somebody's made real time in Salesforce directly. So there's no wondering of how far people are getting or are people filling out a few form fields and then abandoning the form process. Within the Soapbox Engage form app, all this data goes directly into Salesforce right away. So let's take a look at how all this stuff gets put together to make it really easy and usable for your users on the front end. With Soapbox Engage, you're able to log into the administrator through your web browser anywhere in the world. And when you log in, you come to a control panel that looks like this. And down at the bottom of the page, we have our different form pages, or we call them submit pages as well. You can see the title of it, the URL for it, and then the ability to customize that URL, view the form, or be able to edit it directly. In addition to that, you can see all the different forms you've created or even create a new one directly from the control panel. When we go to look at all the forms we created, we can come to the form manager here. And this shows us the title of the form, which object in Salesforce it's pointing to, which I'll show you in a moment, and a couple of other options such as is this form published to the public, is it accessible to everybody in the public, etc. If we were to look at one specific form, we can see that each form allows you to do a variety of different things. This is stored in three different tabs, a general info tab, a form tab, and then different options for the form. On this info tab page, you can set the title, change the URL, determine or not whether it's published, be able to choose the different Salesforce object and description, and even metadata information like keywords, metadata, description, etc. Now if we were to uh, click the button to select uh, which object that this would point to, we can see that this modal view will pop up and it shows you every object in your Salesforce instance right away. So with the Forms app, you can choose any one object at a time to send your data to directly into Salesforce. And once you choose your object, you're able to choose any fields from that object that you want to be able to edit. So let's look at the form tab now. And in the form tab, you can see what we call elements. These can be fields from Salesforce. These can be text elements, attachment um, options, image options, etc. In this case, we can see that each one has an element, a label that would be displayed on the front end of the website to your visitors. 
whether or not that field is accessible to the public or not. Is it a required field? What kind of field is it? Is it published? And then the order which you can drag and drop here. In addition to that, you've got the ability to edit or delete fields one at a time. And most importantly, you've got four different options here. You've got a Salesforce add, uh, add Salesforce element. This is adding a field from the object you're connecting to in Salesforce. An add text element option, which allows you to go ahead and choose the ability to add HTML text to your form. An add attachments object, which allows you to go ahead and add any attachments like PDF documents, Excel spreadsheets, any sort of documentation that you want to be uploaded to that object in Salesforce, you can do that as well. And then an add image option that allows you to do special uploading of images specifically. So if we were to look at these one at a time, when you're looking at the add Salesforce element, this shows you all of the fields that you've got in this particular Salesforce object. It will tell you the type, it'll go ahead and give it a label, you can set a default value, enable HTML, a variety of different options here within the uh, administrator. You then have a text option here that gives you the ability to go ahead and add HTML text for anywhere you want on the page itself, where you can give it a name. You can even add your own CSS keywords and add uh, HTML and buttons to the page itself. You've also got the ability to add uh, an attachments element that allows you to upload PDF documents, Excel spreadsheets, you can name it, provide a label for it. You can even go ahead and say that you want to set the max file size and specifically what file types would be accepted for that particular attachment. And then finally you've got the add image element where you can go ahead and set maximum widths and maximum heights for both a thumbnail and the image itself. You can make a required field, you can choose what field in Salesforce it points to, and you can even store it directly in Soapbox Engage or store it in Salesforce itself. Finally, on the Options tab, a couple of good things for Salesforce administrators that you'll like. First, we've got the ability to choose which record type in that object you want the records to be stored to, so that's great. It finds all the record types, allows you to store it directly to it. You've also got the ability on the Submit view, on the Form view, where do you want the fields to be placed, what do you want the intro for the page to be, what would you like the footer or the outro for the page to be, We've got a honeypot option, which is a really powerful way to make sure that there are no uh, bots or spam bots that submit your form. Uh, we will make sure that no spammers that are submitting the form will get their data into your Salesforce instance. It's a great way to protect your Salesforce account from getting overrun with spam messages that are coming in from the form. You've got the ability to go ahead and set what success message somebody says sees after they submit the form, which URL they're taken to. <clears throat> Or do they see a page of content that's related to your form? An error message in case there's some sort of a problem when it's trying to submit the form. And the ability to go ahead and have an email sent to an administrator where you can set this to be on or off. You can choose the email address and the subject line and the body, as well as to the user that filled it out. So you can go ahead and customize the confirmation email when the user has submitted that email. Lots of great stuff all wrapped into the Soapbox Engage Forms app. If you want to learn more, just head over to www.soapboxengage.com. Thanks for watching.